Bonjour, today I'm going to teach you how to use the irregular French verb mettre. Have you ever heard of the verb mettre? Well, it has lots of different meanings. Today we're going to focus on six of those meanings, just to start out with, and we'll look at this verb in the present and in the passé composé tenses. Why the verb mettre? I think the verb mettre is very important because as English speakers, coming from an English speaking background, we just might not ever think of using the verb mettre in certain situations where in fact you do need to use it in French. Now might be a good time to have a look down in the video description and there you will find a link to my blog. If you click on that link, you can see this whole lesson in written form and I've also created a Quizlet study set so that you can use it to practice and master everything that you learned today. Okay, to start out, let's have a look at the present tense conjugation of the verb mettre. Je mets, tu mets, il, elle, on met, nous mettons, vous mettez, il, elle, met. So pay close attention to the pronunciation. There's lots of T's and S's on the ends of those verbs, but they're all silent. So je mets, tu mets, il met. D'accord? In the passé composé, if you want to use the verb mettre in the passé composé, it's really easy to do, even though it's an irregular verb. Avoir is your helping verb, right? Because it's not on the Dr. and Mrs. P. Vandertramp list. And even though mettre ends in RE in its infinitive form, it is not a regular RE verb, which means its past participle is also going to be irregular. The past participle of mettre is mi, M-I-S. Okay, so voila, I'm going to start out with example number one. Now for all of these six examples that I'm going to give you, I'm going to use a different subject pronoun so that you can get exposure in many different ways and we'll do all of them in the present and past. The first definition I'd like to look at with you is the most straightforward, the first one you find in the dictionary. Mettre means to put. So I can say something like, je mets mon sac sur la table. Je mets mon sac sur la table. So what does that mean? Je mets, I put. And remember, it also means I am putting. Okay, remember, you don't need another verb to say I am putting. It's just je mets. So je mets mon sac sur la table. I put or I am putting my bag on the table. If I want to put that in the passé composé, remember I said you have to use avoir as helping verb. So j'ai, and then your past participle is mi. J'ai mis mon sac sur la table. I put, or I did put, my bag on the table. The second example we're going to look at, we'll use tu as your subject pronoun, and the definition is going to change a little bit. It means this time to put on. So we can think of putting on a hat, putting on some glasses, putting on lipstick, putting on a shirt, shoes, whatever. To put on. Tu mets ton t-shirt bleu? Tu mets ton t-shirt bleu? So what does that mean? You are putting on your blue t-shirt. So note there also in English we say you are putting on or you put on. In French you don't need to translate the word on, it's already understood. You put tu mets ton t-shirt bleu in the passé composé, tu as mis ton t-shirt bleu. Example number three. We're going to use il singular as our subject pronoun this time. The definition's going to change. Now this one's really a little bit different. To spend time doing something. You can use mettre for that. To spend time doing something. Don't get confused if you think, well, to spend time, hold on. You, you know, I learned that passé means to spend time. Je passe le weekend à la plage. You're right, that's not going to change. I'm not gonna to try to change your mind about that. But this is not just to spend time, it's to spend time doing something. So if I want to say, for example, um, okay, just to give you a little context. If I want to say, he, it takes him 15 minutes to go to school. 
Literally, I mean, if I want to be real literal about it, I would say he spends 15 minutes going to school. And that's how I'm going to use this verb mettre. Just listen to it. Il met 15 minutes pour aller à l'école. So it's almost like you're saying he puts 15 minutes to go to school. Yeah, doesn't make sense in English. That's what makes it idiomatic. That's why you have to learn it today, okay? Uh, if you want to put that in the passé composé, il a mis 15 minutes pour aller à l'école. All right, you ready for example number four? This time we're going to use nous as our subject. The definition is going to change a little bit. Okay, this time we're going to use mettre to mean to set the table. That's right. Nous mettons la table. Nous mettons la table. We set the table. Or we are setting the table. And in the passé composé, nous avons mis la table. Example number five now. We're going to use vous as our subject. The definition changes. This time it means to turn something on, some kind of appliance, something like the TV or the lights or the radio or the computer or whatever, the hair dryer. D'accord? We can use mettre. So I can say, vous mettez la radio. Vous mettez la radio. Voilà. You turn on the radio. D'accord? Or in the passé composé, vous avez mis la radio. Vous avez mis la radio. Okay, now we're ready for the sixth and final example that I'm going to show you using the verb mettre today. So since it's our last one, I thought I would make it a little bit special. It's going to be a reflexive verb because I know that you love reflexive verbs, right? And it's an idiomatic reflexive verb. That means it's just not going to translate to anything that makes sense in English. That's okay, okay? Um, the reflexive way that I'm going to show you, this verb is se mettre à. Let me tell you what it means and then we'll look at it a little closer. Se mettre à means to begin doing something or to start doing something, okay? So if I say something like, Il se met à faire leur devoir. What does that mean? Il se met à means they begin to faire leur devoir. You notice how I just put faire in the infinitive there. They begin to do their homework. In other words, I would just say in English, they're starting their homework. Ils se mettent à faire leur devoir. It's a little more complicated in French. Can you use the verb commencer to mean to begin or to start? Of course you can. Bien sûr. D'accord? Just showing you a different way to do it today with an irregular verb. In the passé composé, pay close attention to this one because now that the verb mettre is reflexive, avoir is not your helping verb anymore. The helping verb for all reflexive verbs has to be être. Always, always, always. Toujours, toujours, toujours. So, ils se sont me à faire leur devoir. Ils se sont mis à faire leur devoir. Very important, se mettre à. That à that comes after the verb, anytime you learn an infinitive and when you see it has an à or a de after it, a very, very good practice is to just memorize the à or the de after. That, that comes after the verb. If you've already started learning how to use French pronouns, you probably know why it's so important because those as and does you really just have to know them or else later on and not too far down the line in French they're they're going to help you make some important grammatical decisions in French. Voila! If you enjoy learning French and if you enjoy my video lessons I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and that way you won't miss any of the upcoming French video tutorials that I have for you every Thursday. You can help me with my project to continue creating free French resources on YouTube and on my blog by supporting me on Patreon. No pledge is too small. Also, join Love Learning Languages on Facebook, Pinterest, 
Twitter, Teachers Pay Teachers, and LinkedIn, or contact me for private French lessons on Skype. And just one more thing, be sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter so that you won't miss anything. All of the links you need are in the video description below. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next week. On se voit la semaine prochaine. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. Passez une bonne journée. Au revoir.